What is going on, guys? Just got some gas. About to go move some money around. Do a couple of errands. Um, honestly, I doubt I'll be doing any type of ride here today. Uber or Lyft. It's just a rainy day and just not a fun day to do ride share at all. But I want to talk to you guys about uh, affiliate marketing and network marketing. Um, the history that I have with the two of these way online ways of making money which uh, sometimes people do confuse the two for whatever reason. Um, the first one, affiliate marketing has been proven, first of all, in the eyes of every legitimate company Probably in the entire world, every legitimate company. Um, of course, the most famous affiliate marketing would probably have to be Amazon. Not my favorite. My favorite right now would be Internet Income System because it's two tier and it's 100% commissions up front. So that's probably my favorite right now. But Every legitimate bank has an affiliate program. As a matter of fact, I have two banks right now trying to get me to promote their affiliate uh, offer. Um, one is, no, three. Chase Bank trying to get me to do an affiliate program where you get like up to five people. I think they offer me up to like $500 a year or something like that. Um, Capital One is trying to get me to do their affiliate program. Uh, I don't remember it being more than Chase. It probably was about the same. He's, the banks, the only thing about the bank affiliate programs, they cap you because they know if you blow up, they got to pay out a lot of money and they don't want to pay it out. But there's on there's ones that are ongoing for almost life. Like, I know Chime Bank, they do one. Uh, even though it's a fintech, more than it is a bank, they got an affiliate program. SoFi usually has an affiliate program. So it's already been proven to be legitimate, and it's usually only two-tier, meaning you sign up somebody, that one-level person signs up somebody, and you may get a little something from that person as well. Network marketing, on the other hand, Although technically by law not illegal, technically by law, but from my experience, and I've been on this earth a while now, most, I would actually say most, network marketing programs are just straight up scams, most. And that's unfortunate because there's probably a few good ones. I don't even want to give you a name of what one that might be good because sometimes these companies, it could be 20 years later, something could happen. But I will mention one because they probably had longevity enough where you can't really prove that they've done anything scammy. It's probably Mary Kay, for example. But even them are, even they have been accused of scammy type practices. And most companies that start off on this business model of network marketing, they're also known as uh, MLMs, um, direct service. Some people say it's called direct selling or direct marketing, which I consider those affiliate marketing when it's direct sales. But and 
network marketing has just been those companies that start off that way and they try to transition out of it to just net to just affiliate marketing after the fact those are usually scams and I can give you an example of one that is uh, very very close to me that uh, I have still have some deep rooted feelings about was the original Troy Mason's company Zintegrity the original Zintegrity was network marketing he tried to change it and transition it out of it to just affiliate marketing after the fact um, another one well known in the ride share communities big in the ride share communities is trip rides I believe spelled two ways uh, they spelled it two different ways but trip rides when they were promoting it at its peak and it just started it was network marketing later they realized the FCC or one of these government organizations was like, no, 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 this is scammy. They try to transition after the fact. So usually these companies that start off network marketing and then they try to transition to just affiliate marketing, they're usually scams. Even after they've transitioned, they're scams. So it's starting to give affiliate marketing a bad name just to be a part of a network marketing company that transitioned to a affiliate marketing program. They're usually scams. Uh, another big one, also near and dear to my heart, and this probably affected the whole cryptocurrency market as a whole. Everybody remembers this one, Big Connect. Big Connect <laughs> Although was a scam, it it did something big because it brought out a lot of people that didn't know they were entrepreneurs. It kind of brought them out. I'm talking like those like old women promoting this thing because nobody had to understand it. They just knew that if I put in this amount of money in a month, two months. I got back this kind of money. And that's how it worked in the beginning. But that's how pyramids usually do work. They started where they were paying out big, heavy. I mean, they were paying out people to promote it. I don't want to say no names because there's some people in the cryptocurrency market right now that are considered legit, but they started out promoting BitConnect. Even myself, I have videos where I, I believe I promoted BitConnect when I thought it was legit. Big scam. But there was red flags everywhere. But we just wanted crypto to work so bad, guys. We really did. And then there was a chain, a daisy chain of uh, crypto scams after BitConnect. I don't know how they were able to pull it off, but... Uh, I just remember so many were still promoting crypto scams. And I heard about a big Russian uh, chain. I want to say it was Litecoin. I want to say that they had a, a whole uh, platform for crypto. And I want to say it was called Litecoin. And I found out after the fact you know, none against the Russians, but it happened to be a Russian platform. They got shut down by the government and they had legitimate people's money because people put real Bitcoins in this thing. You know, they put Bitcoins, they put Ethereum in there, they put... Uh, I'm sorry, I said Litecoin. It wasn't Litecoin. I think it was called Livecoin or something like that. I think Litecoin is a legitimate token or something. But I don't 
remember the name, but there were just so many crypto scams. But they were linked to network marketing. Like BitConnect paid out like a network marketing company. Red flags everywhere. So it's safe to say probably of the thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of network marketing companies that pop up all over the world probably maybe a hundred are legit very few there's a lot in the uh, travel industry that end up being scams um, after trip went down there still were companies trying to scam and even to this day right now are trying to scam Uber and Lyft drivers through a network marketing platform to this day. I don't want to mention the name, but there's a new company just popped up talking about they want to go to Minneapolis too that I know for a fact is a scam just because they're on a network marketing style platform. If you're doing any type of ride share and it's on a network marketing style platform, it's a scam. Now, do I believe they can set up a network marketing, I mean, a, a rideshare platform and pay out with just affiliate marketing? That's even questionable because what happens is with rideshare companies, they pay out in the beginning, but they shut off the faucet as soon as you blow up. Uber, perfect example probably had one of the biggest regular affiliate marketing programs and I know the rideshare professor talked about this because he was one of the biggest ones they put out hundreds and thousands of people drivers that got signed up they started getting paid out in the beginning everybody was happy thousands of dollars there was literally people promoting Uber that were making two to three G's a month just promoting people to sign up for Uber in the early days. It's the early days. And they just shut off the faucet before they went public. So it wasn't because they went public. This is before they went public. So if it's even a affiliate program and it has to do with ride share, I'm not going to say it's a scam, but don't expect it to last forever. But usually any company that promotes any type of affiliate product, even a two-tier affiliate product, it's usually legit if it's coming from a major corporation. It's usually legit. And there's millions of them. That's why I think a company that does affiliate marketing is perfect for your holding company perfect for your holding company because you're not doing business with the general public. The likelihood of you getting sued by companies that you're just promoting a affiliate link to, it's damn near impossible. You know, it's not going to happen. You're never going to get sued. So it's like the perfect vehicle to used to bring in funds for your holding company because you really don't want your holding company to do business with the general public. That's for the operating companies that you put underneath them. And I don't want to sound like an expert or nothing, but this is really common sense. And some people will say, yeah, your, your holding company shouldn't do business with anybody. But how are you going to get money to your affiliate, how are you going to get money to your holding company? How are you going to get funds in there so that you can show your banker, okay, money's going into my account? This is one way. You do affiliate marketing programs. And you could set up a operational company to be your media company to hold your YouTube channel and use that traffic to get eyeballs on your offers. That's basically what I've done. And I do 
do have experience with that because I have done that and I've successfully successfully got people to sign up for affiliate offers. Now the hard part is to create your own products, market yourself, get people to sign up for your own products, but that will grow with time. Affiliate marketing to me is the perfect way to start your business, get your affiliate marketing business set up, get your holding company generating cash flow. And like I said, it's you're not going to, the likelihood of you getting sued, you're more likely to get sued uh, just having a media company. So that's why I say your holding company could do this and, and probably never get sued for anything because you're only got affiliate money from other companies paying into that company. And you could use Stripe to send the payments, PayPal, Venmo, you already know how to go. Your cash app. So this one way I'm gonna fund my new holding company I am building out. And one of the reasons why, if you guys are ever wondering, I do already have an existing holding company, does do affiliate marketing, but one of the reasons why I feel like I need to start a new one is I feel like I need one in my state. And uh, to get the local government funding. So I feel like I want to start a new one. And I also feel like I want to have a operational company for my transportation company under this new company. And I'm going to promote this company heavy so it doesn't have to really have anonymity. I'm not looking for anonymity with this holding company. You know, because again, there's no reason to hide it if it's not really doing business with anybody. The operational company under it is going to be doing all the business. And it may be the same name or a similar name. I haven't decided on that yet. But that's how I'm going to work this. And um, Internet Income System, because it has different levels that people can upgrade to, you can make more money because it has different products. So it doesn't have different levels. It's not network marketing. But because it has, it's like a platform that has different things you could purchase, you have the opportunity to make more money as time goes on. That's why they give you 100% commissions on the basic level up front which I believe they're talking about lowering. Uh, I'm not supposed to say that, but uh, as of the first, or probably the first of this coming month, they're thinking about lowering the price for the, the base level tier. Uh, but get in now, if you're seeing this, uh, there's no telling when that is gonna change, so just get in now. And to me, having 100% commissions on a product is big because you don't have to come up with your own product. So I'm using this as one of the ways to not only give people that I train in the future something to sell, but this is gonna actually train them as well because it has something attached with it called Atlas Academy that is the building blocks that's going to help you get the training you need to market yourself online. So you want to check that out. Uh, links below, of course, but you can go to blandrake.com or williamblanding.com. They'll both take you over there and give you some information. And let's just get started. And once you set up your first company and start seeing all the affiliate marketing products and services you can offer it's really endless when you really think about it because I'm thinking about it right now I'm thinking about doing videos on one channel all about different banking that'll help me get more traffic to promote these banks 
and on another channel just talk about technology so that'll give me a way to promote opus clips victory ai maybe my own uh, uh my own gpt that i'm gonna promote i can also do that as well so check out the description below support your boy subscribe like comment and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one thank you